guys, welcome to learn English with M to the power of three. In today's lesson, we will learn and practice English with XO Kitty. Kitty decides to shift to South Korea to attend KISS. It's the same school her late mother once went to and where they, her long-distance boyfriend, also goes. Kitty is excited to explore her new relationship and to also learn more about her mother. So if you haven't already done so, be sure to hit the like, bell and subscribe buttons on this video so you never miss out on any of our future lessons. Let's start. Number one, something clicked. Let's watch. And then suddenly, something clicked. Something clicked. It is an idiomatic expression that means a person suddenly understood something. It's often used to describe the moment when a concept, idea, or piece of information becomes clear and makes sense. Let's watch some examples. And something clicked inside that little Roosevelt brain. But when I ran into you that fifth time, something clicked. I think it finally clicked when I realized I didn't just love Veronica Mars. Something just clicked. Something had clicked with Sandy. And Let's watch that scene again. And then suddenly, something clicked. Number two, life changing. Let's watch. I spent a summer in India with my cousins when I was about Kitty's age, and it was life-changing. Life-changing. It describes something that greatly and permanently affects a person's life. Let's watch some examples. I mean, it's life-changing. In this case, life-changing information. Indeed. If we could get our hands on more of this stuff, it could be life-changing. Recently, I had a life-changing experience. Life-changing. Let's watch that scene again. I spent a summer in India with my cousins when I was about Kitty's age, and it was life-changing. Number three. Doesn't ring a bell. Let's watch. I think my mom might have been here at the same time as you. Oh. Her name was Eve Song. Huh. That doesn't ring a bell. Doesn't ring a bell. It means that something doesn't sound familiar or doesn't make you remember anything. Let's watch some examples. Name doesn't ring a bell. Doesn't ring a bell. Doesn't ring a bell. Sorry. Doesn't ring a bell. Name doesn't ring a bell. No, it's not ringing any bells. Let's watch that scene again. I think my mom might have been here at the same time as you. Oh. Her name was Eve Song. Huh. That doesn't ring a bell. Number four, pull or make a move on. Let's watch. Don't feel bad. He loves to pull this move on people. He did it to me the first time we met. Pull or make a move on. It's an informal expression that means to do something, usually with a plan or a strategy, often to gain an advantage or surprise someone. Let's watch some examples. Niggas might use the knife to make a move on us. I think the guy was trying to make a move on him. Well, I don't think I would make a move on her. After killing my taste buds, you're just gonna make a move on me? I was not gonna try to make a move on you. Listen, I heard Cohen's making a move on Dragna. Let's watch that scene again. Don't feel bad. He loves to pull this move on people. He did it to me the first time we met. Number five, guilty as charged. Let's watch. Are you Q, track star, fellow American, heart of gold? Guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. It's an idiomatic expression used to admit that one is indeed responsible for a particular action, offense, or wrongdoing that has been mentioned. Here, the phrase guilty as charged is used playfully to say, yes, that's me. I fit that description perfectly. 
It's like jokingly admitting that the description is accurate. Let's watch some examples. Guilty as charged. Guilty as charged, sir. If this is practicing medicine, if this is treating a patient, then I am guilty as charged, sir. Yeah, guilty as charged. Yeah, guilty as charged. Uh, yeah, guilty as charged. Let's watch that scene again. Are you Q? Track star, fellow American, heart of gold? Guilty as charged. Number six, pen pal. Number seven, break into. Let's watch. Dave's crazy ex pen pal broke into our dorm to murder us. This is my room. Pen pal. A pen pal is someone you write letters or emails to, usually from a different place, to become friends and share stories and experiences. The term pen pal originates from the idea that people used to write letters with pens and send them via mail to communicate with someone who might live far away. Nowadays, the concept has expanded to include online communication as well, such as email or messaging. Let's watch some examples. After I stopped working and started getting crazy, she got a pen pal. And your pen pal's emails just stopped, did they? I'll write to you, pen pal. She has a pen pal. It's very intimate. They planned this together. So, uh, Andy, have you heard anything from your imaginary Indian pen pal? X. X is a prefix, and it is put in front of words to show that something or someone used to be linked to a certain role, status, relationship, or condition but that connection doesn't exist anymore. Let's watch some examples. Another ex-husband? Griffin, actually my ex-boyfriend, Griffin. In fact, the director, Prudence, is a dear friend and ex-lover of mine. No, my ex-friend, Kip. My dad was on his way to meet my mom to propose and he runs into his ex-girlfriend. Break into. It means to forcefully enter a building, room, or area without permission and often unlawfully. Another meaning is to start doing something suddenly or unexpectedly. It can also mean to interrupt a conversation or situation with a comment or action, often to contribute something new or relevant. Let's watch some examples. I can't believe we're breaking into the school. I want you to break into a place and steal some shit. So you all wanted me to break into a police station? Sam broke into the main house, stole the toy soldiers. Tell Percy he's got to break into a run, okay? He's got to... I'm actually hoping someday to break into the music business. Let's watch that scene again. Dave's crazy ex pen pal broke into our dorm to murder us. This is my room. Number eight, on purpose. Let's watch. She did this on purpose, to be closer to Dave. And me? Okay. On purpose. It means doing something on intention or by design, not accidentally. Let's watch some examples. You know he burned those paintings on purpose, right? I didn't do it on purpose. Well, I'm glad you didn't do it on purpose. Not on purpose. Mom, he's done this on purpose. You're not saying that I did this on purpose. Let's watch that scene again. She did this on purpose. To be closer to day and me. Okay. Number nine, cacao taxi. And number 10, hard pass. Let's watch. But I'd be happy to call you cacao taxi. Hard pass. Cacao taxi. Cacao taxi is a South Korean app that helps you easily get a taxi using your phone, just like Uber. Hard pass. It means saying a strong no to something you don't want or like. Let's watch some examples. Drink. Hard pass. Hard pass. Pass. Hard pass. Hard pass. No. Hard pass. Hard pass. Hard pass. All right. Now it's time to practice and take the quiz. The quiz has four questions and you have five seconds to answer each. Let's start. Number one. 
What's the meaning of something clicked in this context? But with Amanda, something just clicked. A. Something broke. B. Something was hidden. C. Something made sense. Or D. Something flew away. The answer is C. Something made sense. Number 2. Which of the following does not represent the meaning of break into? A. Forceful entry. B. Start suddenly. C. Take a break. D. Interrupt. The correct option is C. Take a break. Number 3. What is the meaning of hard pass in this context? It's going to be hard pass for me. A. Difficult path. B. A strong rejection. C. Easy choice. Or D. A complex task. The answer is B. So hard pass means a strong rejection. Number 4. Which one means pen pal? A. A type of writing tool. B. Someone you send gifts to. C. A class about writing. Or D. A friend you write letters to. That's right. Pen pal is a friend you write letters to. So the answer is option D. I'm hoping you got all the questions right. I wish you had a great time during today's lesson. You can comment the name of the movie or TV series that you're interested in and we will create a video based on it. If you find this video helpful, make sure to share it with your friends so they can benefit from it too. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also check out these two cool videos. See you in the next one!